We're so glad you're enjoying our Lick of the Week, sponsored by the National Fiddler Hall of Fame. And today I'm going to talk about some beginnings, some beginnings and endings. And uh, if you're a rank beginner, you might do something very square, like... And if you give it just a little syncopation, a little anticipation before the beat, it sounds a lot more fiddlistic. And you can carry that over into your playing with a little slide. We're going to continue with beginnings, and you wouldn't do the sawing beginning for a fiddle contest very much. You, you do it on occasion. That would be the one we did last time. But more common is just four chops. And so forth. And then if you're going to do a fiddle tune kind of in the swing style, you might add um, an extra note to sound kind of bluesy. It would be in the key of D. We're going to add a B note the second time around. But you have to do a good beginning so that your accompanist will feel that rhythm before you start. We're talking about beginnings, and the beginning of a tune is going to set the style. In country music, a kind of a Tommy Jackson style, they have those nice chops, and you hear that at the beginning of Faded Love or Heartaches by the Number, something like this. <laughs> 